Uh, it's, it's pretty special. I mean, it's pretty rare that I guess uh, I mean a father and son are on the same team together, and for them two to actually you know have success in the same season is just real special, and I feel honored to just be a part of it. This is our ninth year here as a family, and for him to you know, finally win this award, I feel like he deserved it you know, a while back. But uh, it's finally, it's great that he finally got it this year, and you know, good for the last year in conference that he actually got it. it it's a tremendous honor. You know, I, I was going into the year, my my hopes were that one, he could stay healthy, and two, he we'd find a way to get something out of him. It's been a, you know, it's been a tough two years, very limited as most freshmen are his first year than, a, than an injury last year. But and you knew he had potential. And, and uh, again, I just, you know, we, we, we turn a lot of our pitching development over to Fred Corral and, and he and Fred got in the trenches and worked on a lot of things and, and it's gone well for him. Obviously it means an awful lot because uh, the, the way the voting is structured in the league, it's you're voted on by your peers, which is, which, you know, this league is riddled with tremendous coaches and uh, I made the comment earlier I guess they were just tired tired of giving it to coach Graham with all the success <laughs> he's had at Rice and, and and coach Barry with the success he's had at Southern Miss so uh, but it, it is an honor to be voted on by the other by your peers and and then you know the all-conference voting when when coaches uh, recognize your players it's very special opposing coaches because we're not allowed to vote for our own but uh, very special and and uh, this league has been a dominant baseball league for an awful long time and it will continue to be that even when we're gone but it's nice that that uh, you know we, we received some recognition and I'm, I'm awful proud of Eric.